Five Governor Jared Polis is calling for a special legislative session next week as Colorado homeowners face record breaking property tax increases. That announcement coming less than 36 hours after voters rejected his relief attempt Proposition HH. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5 this Thursday. I'm Jessica Porter and I'm Micah Smith. We have live team coverage for you this evening. Chief investigative reporter Tony Kovaleski is digging into the economic and political situation lawmakers are facing. First, let's go to Denver 7's Brandon Richard live at the state capitol. Brandon, the governor says there is an immediate and dire need to find a solution. Yeah, that's right. And the governor also called it a crisis. But, you know, it was a crisis that lawmakers and the governor were aware of back in the spring. But they were hoping that voters would take care of this by passing Proposition HH. Of course, we know that did not happen. And so now state lawmakers are returning here to the Capitol. In a moment of political theatrics, Colorado Governor Jared Polis took a baseball bat to a glass case Thursday. Inside, the governor's plan B, as he called it, a proclamation calling for a special session in the event voters rejected Proposition HH, which they did Tuesday night. Obviously, no one ever knows what, what voters are going to do. I think putting options before voters is always a great thing. Polis wants lawmakers to provide immediate relief to Coloradans facing 40 to 50 percent increases in their property tax bills. Some counties counties will start sending those bills out after New Year's, meaning lawmakers must act quickly. Because the assessors have to implement whatever the legislature does. So this could not be done, for instance, in December has to be done now. Most of the specifics are being left up to lawmakers, but one suggestion includes using the 200 million they set aside earlier this year. But I mean, we have to get that out. On top of that, there's ample opportunities, and I hope that they can agree on additional property tax relief. There's a real need. Republicans say it's about time the governor called lawmakers back. We have been calling for a special session since session ended in May. Um, because we knew this problem was looming. State Representative Rose Puglisi says she hopes Democrats consider the plans Republicans have offered, including reducing the state income tax. And that would save people across the board, whether you're a property owner or not, um, money and keep more money in the pockets of the people instead of giving it to government and then waiting for a refund. While property tax relief is the major focus of the special session, Polis also wants lawmakers to pass legislation to ensure 300,000 children will have access to a summer lunch program before a crucial federal deadline. And we wanna pull people together to make sure that that gets done as well, and that there is time to implement that uh, so that the Coloradans who need it most don't lose out. The special session convenes at 9 a.m. Friday, November 17th. And the governor very clear that this special session is focused on providing immediate property tax relief for Coloradans. He is hopeful, though, that lawmakers will be able to put together a blue ribbon panel to look for longer term solutions. Jessica. Yeah, long term solutions are what everyone's looking for. Thank you, Brandon. And let's bring in Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski now. Yeah, at the news conference, Tony, you asked the governor if it was a mistake to keep Tabor out of the ballot language. What did he say? Well, Micah, Jess, it's been a fascinating 48 hours. And let's begin by giving some credit to the governor. By all accounts, this was his most significant political defeat in our state. And he stepped up today. He responded quickly to voters, providing his analysis of what went wrong and took several minutes to ask questions from reporters and answer questions. Now to your question. Simply, the governor said Proposition HH was too confusing to voters. I gave him an opportunity to say, was it a mistake to keep the phrase using Tabor funds for that tax cut out of the ballot language? He didn't go that far, but he did say in the future, greater transparency in the language should be considered very interesting day. Yeah, Tony, this is about a potentially significant economic impact for everyone in the state. But let's also be clear here, this special session is also about Democrats trying to prevent some backlash from voters. What are your so uh, sources well, saying, Tony? Two key points there. In the simple answer, it's clearly about both. Without some sort of relief, the jacked up property value statewide will hit everyone in the pocketbook. That's homeowners and renters. The governor specifically said today that without change, some seniors and others on fixed incomes could be forced out of their home. So when the voters sent that message on Tuesday night, it was an overwhelming majority voting down HH. The governor and the state's Democratic majority now had to respond. 
On the political side of this, if the Dems do not find a financial bailout, sources telling me they risk a significant voter backlash November at the ballot boxes. So in your pocketbook and on your ballot, two sides to this. Mm -hmm. A lot to consider as well. Tony Kovaleski joining us tonight. Thank you so much for your outlook. Yeah. And we're continuing the conversation around the special session and rising property taxes online. Just look for the story on denver7.com. Going further in depth here, high interest rates and high housing costs are discouraging for potential home buyers. But a new report on mortgage rates is providing some hope. According to data from Freddie Mac released today, the 30 year fixed rate mortgage fell to an average of seven and a half percent this week. It's the biggest drop since this time last year, and it follows seven consecutive weeks of increases. We're taking a deeper look at what this means for prospective home buyers in Colorado coming up in about 10 minutes.